Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today's video, I'd just like to show some items that I am working on that I have committed to for myself, where I make, uh, one is a, a crochet along, <laughs> and the other one is uh, I'm making a blanket and I make two squares a month for. And so I just wanted to show you that I did complete the two squares that I need for the month of May. <laughs> I had to kind of think where, what month we are, are we in? <laughs> okay, so the, uh, to start off with, I am working out of this 3D Granny Square book. I love this book. Um, I've told about some issues that I have had um, in the faces and um, I'll just bring that up again in case you're new and or you just bought this book and you're not aware of it. Everybody reads patterns differently and uh, like what might be my issue may not be your issue but I'd like to bring up what my issue is and my solution to it <laughs> I guess you could say. Okay first I'd like to show you this was my May. I did the little mouse <laughs> And, um, let's see, I thought my next one would have been right on top. Here it is. My next one was the bear. Let's see, move the mouse over. I did the little bear. And, um, it's going to be a farm animal blanket, or I kind of thought it was, but I saw a shark in this book, and I was like, I'd really like to do that shark. But there's enough animals to do a, um, sea blanket if I wanted to. They have the octopus, the starfish, the beach scene, you know, the whole work. So I could do another blanket next year if I choose to. But anyway, this is the two that I finished for May. And I'll show you, um, I started this in March. So I did two in March, two in April, and then two in May. And the two, my other two that I have, is the fox and the lion and the cute little puppy dog and the pig so that's the um, the other two now here was my issue that I was sort of going with that I was gonna tell you about okay especially the fox right here some of these have little flaps and they have ears and they have you to crochet the circle first and then when you finish the circle they'll have you to crochet um, to do these like trebles and stuff to bring this out and then you'll bring it back down into some slip stitches and then you'll bring it back out. Okay, and then you have, and it's done in the front loop, that last row right there. So once you have that, then you start your square. My problem is I can never get my square right. Um, so I have gone down the, this bunny was the same way. I mean, this bunny, <laughs> this bear was the same way. So what I did with him as well is I just made my circle and then did my square just any because if it's a circle you can just do it anywhere you want and then I went back in since the square started in the back loop I went back in and then sent made sure everything was centered and then just went around you know like it asked for so that solved that issue man did it take a lot of hours away from me by figuring that technique out, but that's not the way that they have you to do it. They have you to do it all, all that, and then you're square. But like I said, when I was doing it, like this ear would be up here and this line right here would be here. I mean, it was bad. And um, I've really struggled with that. But um, anyway, so I got it figured out for what suits me. So if that's just a little tip that um, if you have that book and you have that issue, um, instead of spending a lot of time on it, maybe that little tip can help you a little bit. <laughs> okay, the other thing is, um, oh yeah, my crochet along my um, picnic by the river. I'm really excited about this one. Um, I have all my colors on this little card that came with it. It came with a pack of these cards. And so this is what I've got for my colors. And then on the back side, it has the conversion chart and stuff. And I love this. And um, so that's real cool. So the first week they have you to make are these eight, they call it the, the little basket. 
it's a basket weave, but they, I think they call it the basket strips or something. Anyway, so you make eight of those. And so I have all eight of them done. Right here. <laughs> there they all are. And then they have you to do this right here. I posted on my Instagram, and I think I might have, I'm not sure if I posted on Facebook, but I know I did on Instagram, where I had to weave in, I had all those ends to weave in, and I really don't mind, I don't mind weaving ends in, they don't bother me not one bit, so, you know, some people find it relaxing, some people, they, they hate it, and um, I'm one of those people that find it relaxing, uh, of course, I am a seamstress, so... <laughs> But that's what I did for my, that's the first week. And uh, let's see what we got. Oh, and that is called Tunisian Electric. Okay, here we go. Uh, week one. It is called Tunisian Entrelac. E-N-T-R-E-L-A-C. Entrelac. I'm not sure, really sure. Um but it was the first time I'd done something like that, and it was really cool. So that was week one. They email you the pattern uh, for that week because it is a crochet along. And so this week, it is um, uh, the Riverside and the Perfect River Scene. So um, we'll be doing that. And the River Scene. It's black and white, guys. Sorry. And I will be doing that. And um, I tell you what, if I can, I will pop in the what that looks like in color that I will be doing this week. And here are, oh, let me get, there's another one of these guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> if y'all were counting, y'all probably said, bam, you're missing one. But there's all my colors. Isn't it pretty? It's called Picnic by the River. And when my daughter was growing up, um, I would take her to, we have this place uh, here in Arkansas in North Little Rock and it's called the Old Mill. And I would take her, my husband was a firefighter, so while he would be at work, uh, I would take her to the Old Mill and I'd spread out a blanket and I would either pack us a lunch or, or I would go through the McDonald's drive-thru and get a Happy Meal. But it just depended on what was going on that day and what we wanted to do. And so I would bring that and we'd go to the old mill and we'd sit there and eat and, you know, watch everybody and just enjoy the scene. And then we'd explore and, you know, go up and down the rocks and through the old mill and check out the water and go across the bridge, you know, and just have a lot of fun. And so I thought, I think that this picnic by the river would be perfect for my grandson. And um, as I'm taking care of him and some throughout the summer and things like that, um, I could take that to the old mill and continue that tradition, but with this cool blanket, you know, that was specially made for uh, me and him. <laughs> All right, so that is uh, Coastal Crochet. It's Amanda Bloom's Coastal Crochet, and it's Picnic by the River. It is a crochet along, um, and it is a kit that I bought. Um, it's from the UK. And it is pricey, but um, it was something I wanted to do. And I saw it, I liked it, and so I got it, and I'm very happy about it. So, um, yeah. <laughs> and there are quite a few of us that are involved in this. So, if you are one of them, um, I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. And uh, so, anyway, that's what I've got. So, I've got that guy. I've got the blanket. Um, so, I've got the two squares. Of the month and I got my crochet along caught up um okay my crochet calendar fun I'll update you guys on that um it's kind of a flop but I'm going to recover somehow so uh watch out for that video <laughs> that's a crochet calendar fun uh, 2021 thing that uh some of those podcasters are working together and some of you viewers are working on it as well um but yeah I'll get back with you on that one um anyway so let's do some happy mail that I got that I had ordered um, it's from Lion Brand, and um, it is basic, premium basic stitch. Um, this is Gold Mine. It's a medium full weight, 100% acrylic. I already know it's soft, but it's a uh, basic stitch. There it is. And then I ordered three of this one, 
And this one is called um, Saffron. And it's kind of like the gold. So that's real pretty. And then this one, I'm really excited about this one. It, it, not, it will be definitely be a fall color. Uh, cyan. So it would definitely be fall. And I thought that these colors would look good to do something with this fall. I mean, you know, it's really pretty. Okay. Um, all right. So that's, um, I do have more shopping, like I said, um, some things that I bought, but I will show that in another video. I have my crochet calendar fun. I will show that in another video. I am actually working on a doll outfit and I will show that. Um, hopefully I will be able to show this, this stuff that I'm talking about either Thursday or Friday of this week. So stay tuned for all that. Okay, and the other thing that I'm involved in is um, the um, Wings Project with Rose Likes Crochet. She does have a YouTube channel, and I will leave her link below. And I just I saw this morning that Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches, she just posted a new washcloth to kind of go with it. So if any of you are making any washcloth, she did post a uh, washcloth tutorial this morning, and it's really cool. I will be uh, making one of those myself, and I actually posted one myself last week, and um, some of you guys are already making it, so I can tell that y'all are having as much fun as I am, but here it is. That's the one that I did, and I actually have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, I guess I have four washcloths tutorials out there. I will leave the link below so that you can check them out in case you're looking for a washcloth pattern and um, to make some of these washcloths to send to Wings. It's a um, domestic violence charity type of place and um, um, I was wanting to update you guys on that and uh, about the date and everything. Well, she brought it to my attention. Thank you, Sherry, by the way. I appreciate that that um she actually does that rose actually doesn't want these to october so i went ahead and changed the date on everything so guys if you want to send your stuff send them in october to rose likes crochet i'll leave the link below and um i think i originally said august i was wrong <laughs> i had the date wrong the month's wrong so it's actually october and the um I will be picking the winner in November. So if you send any, you have to make sure that you send them to her and you need to make sure that you put a little note in it saying that you're in her Pamela's giveaway. And I do watch her videos and so I will see all of your washcloths. I will have your name, the whole works. So you don't need to worry that you, you know, your name won't be in the giveaway because it will be. Um, you guys have worked hard for this. And like I said, I will pick a winner um, first week of November. <laughs> and no, I don't know what I'm giving away yet. Um, but um, I'll decide that closer. We got quite. We got to get all the way through the summer, you know. So who knows what I might find out there to buy for the giveaway. So I don't want to pick something this soon. Um, anyway, and I want to say thank you for everyone who is already committing and saying, "Hey, I'm working on them," um, you know, and stuff like that. Just don't send them to Rose till October. <laughs> oh gosh, I think I had everybody sending them like in August. Yeah. So, it's October. <laughs> okay, um, the 365 days of prayer. Oh, and I, I'm, um, I appreciate you guys understanding my um, confusion of the months. <laughs> so, I appreciate that. Um, okay, it says, enemies will see. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteous sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 5.10 Jesus, when I think of the persecution you face for speaking the truth, for healing, and for pointing the way to the Father, it breaks my heart. When I realize there are people right this very minute suffering for those same reasons, I am moved to call out to you on their behalf. As lovers of your soul sit in chains, suffering, beatings, and worse, surround them with your presence, Lord. Send your Holy Spirit to give them a peace that completely transcends their situation. Let their enemies see the beauty of a life that is fully surrendered to you and let their hearts be broken. Who can you pray for that is being persecuted? And I think that is very fitting. Um, and that goes on all the time, everywhere. Um, okay, so that's all that I have for this video. Um, 
just the wings update, my line brand yarn haul, uh, my two, my farm animal blanket update, and my picnic by the river crochet along. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.